Hello, my name is Murray Brown. I'm the data editor for Marine Data Management Training for UNESCO in the project office here in Ostin, Belgium. And we bring students from all over the world to learn how to manage and analyze and quality control oceanographic data. I personally have a PhD in marine chemistry from the University of Copenhagen and my specialty was actually in marine optics. Uh, but for many, many years I've worked in resource management and environmental studies and for over the past decade in environmental data training. Um, my home is actually right here on the beach on the east coast of Florida in a little town called New Smyrna Beach. So it's a far piece away from Belgium, but we have a lot in common because when you're in the coast, it's all of the same social and economic and scientific issues, no matter where you are in the world. The usual arguments that you hear from people about the earth being 75% or some certain uh, large percentage of the sea is of course persuasive, but if you're standing on the beach looking at the earth, you see uh, land, sea, and sky, so it's at least one-third. It's uh, my favorite, my very favorite places in the world are, I've always been on the ocean because I was raised uh, by the side of the sea and we all enjoy it for food, recreation, transport, places to live, solitude, uh, many different reasons. But we have to know about the sea in order to keep these benefits. There are already many places in the earth that we've poisoned, we've trashed, we've physically destroyed, uh, and society knows now that scientific knowledge about the sea is necessary for wise management and retaining these resources at its margins. Uh, young people who are thinking about a scientific career, especially in the marine area, should be encouraged, however, by the increasing need for their participation, their talents, and their studies in the marine area. Um, some of my favorite topical marine areas are, are easily visible here in Ostend and, and at home also. Uh, for instance, if you walk down the waterfront in Ostend, you constantly see cranes and evidence of construction of homes, of seawalls, uh, replacement of structures. And all of this requires uh, marine engineering and a lot of knowledge about the geology and the, the physics of the coastal zone. And there's also a lot of social and economic aspects. Here in Ostend and back home in New Smyrna Beach, we have the same uh, uh, issue of uh, empty buildings, for instance. There's a lot of people who really enjoy their little seaside villa, but they're not living there very often, so this is a big issue. Something that we have a very different from you is that we do have offshore energy in the form of petroleum uh, uh, being drilled offshore and here you have uh, the offshore windmills but regardless of whether you're you're taking petroleum out of the the sediments or whether you got the windmills you have these huge problems of how do you take very large machines take them to sea and have them continue to operate and also create uh, an environment out there where uh, m uh, persons can also work. And then whether you're uh, bringing ashore uh, petroleum or you're bringing ashore electricity, you have this huge infrastructure problem which all requires a lot of information about marine engineering. And uh, our beach in New Smyrna is uh, known to be a, uh, an area of significant erosion. Uh, erosion is a problem all around the North Sea and we have to uh, know more about where we can find uh, good sources of nourishment sand and where the removal of these sands to the beach areas will not cause any uh, biological problems and also how does this relate to sea level rise. So even geology is an area of, con of concern. But uh, probably most people when they start thinking about the sea the first thing that comes to mind is the life in the sea because we're all uh, very fascinated with all of the, the living creatures we see out there in the water. Um, you're probably very familiar with some of the more charismatic creatures, like there's, there's, even, there's seals, there's large birds, there's marine mammals, there's sharks. Uh, my hometown, by the way, happens to be the, the uh, shark bite capital of the world. I know that's not a problem here in, in Ostend, 
but we're all familiar with the large creatures in the sea. But something that I have to mention right now is that the real truth of the matter is if something is large enough to see, then it's probably not important. And that sounds terrible, but you have to understand that the, the waters on the edge of the sea are a stew of invisible organisms that all require the right balance of nutrients, temperature, circulation, salinity, light levels in order to, uh, to grow and thrive and then they're eaten by larger creatures and then larger ones and so on up the food chain. And all of these levels of the food chain and the factors that contribute to its success require biological studies, chemical studies, physical studies, all different kinds of uh, research and many different scientific specialties. So everything depends on this base. But uh, something uh, of, of great interest back home where I'm from, and I know here in, in the North Sea, is that even archaeology is involved because uh, the, lower sea le the lower sea levels uh, at one time uh, uh, actually revealed the, uh, uh, the open shelf out uh, tens to hundreds of miles in some places of the world, and there were human habitation sites out there on the open shelf. So I know for a fact that they have found uh, bones and uh, uh, worked, worked bones and uh, pieces of pottery and other, and other uh, artifacts offshore in the North Sea. So just about every scientific area, even the social sciences and archaeological uh, uh, sciences have been involved in marine work. Um, at back home, and I don't know about this, these particular beaches here, I don't think so much, but even where you have people living, swimming, surfing, uh, just laying in the sand, you can also have turtle nesting, uh, and you can also have uh, uh, special areas of vegetation that need to be protected. So all kinds of, of uh, uh, botany on the coast is important too. Uh, I, I want to thank you for listening to what I have to say because I, I did want to mention some of my favorite uh, topics. But my, my big point is that young scientists will find great opportunities for degree study and interesting jobs in the marine field. Uh, not necessarily out there tossing around in a boat like Cousteau, but in all of the ancillary sciences as well on the coast. Uh, per, perhaps even in the social and economic areas, which are equally important. So I urge you to visit the uh, Flemish Marine Institute and talk with the specialists down here about different career and educational opportunities. And uh, please get down to Ostend and enjoy this wonderful environment. Thank you.